Come in front. Not exactly, sir, but whatever attempts we have done to find out the culprits, sir, we have, have marked each one of them, sir. Could you get the names of those persons? Sir, no, sir. We examined almost uh, uh, 90 females, sir, whose stay had overlapped with that of the victim, sir. And we took all of their statements and got them recorded under 164. And in that, sir... Yes, sir that you have said. Sir. And therefore, you have charge sheeted only one person, the superintendent who was overall in charge. Yes, sir. The one who that kept on emerging was that of Vandana Gupta and hence that is why, sir. You don't have to take the name. Uh, sir, the uh, accused, sir. The superintendent. Even then. Sir, sorry, sir. So, um, so on the basis of that only, sir, we uh, charge sheeted her because the victim statement, sir, that only found corroboration in statement of three other uh, residents of the Gaiga shelter. Why, why we are... Uh, you know, skeptical about the investigation having been conducted properly. We are not passing any comment. This is just the tentative opinion of the court. Don't get disheartened. Uh, both of you. Now, we find that it was a very, very big offence, gender-related offence, especially, especially against hapless women who were lost in that uh, aftercare home or whatever. Mr. Advocate Jajan, please take this. Now, the person who gave the interview, which actually kick-start all this uh, debate, uh, she is not the only person who is the victim, right? So there would be many others. Uh, how many of them have been interviewed by you, interrogated by you? What information did you call out? And uh, did you ask for any special, uh, did you put the superintendent to a special interrogatories? But we don't get satisfied. The occurrence has taken place in the capital under the nose of the High Court, and up till up till now, you have been able to uh, point towards any finger towards only one. Uh, sir, if and to tell you a fact, she being a lady, we find that she could only have been a facilitator. Sir. That's right. Sir. So she has facilitated whom? So. Therefore, we find that uh, this investigation is absolutely lopsided. We don't know. We have not seen the papers. Sir. Um, you do one thing. Sir. You have submitted the charge sheet? Yes, sir. So, there are two FIRs and one charge sheet has been submitted. So, 17 criminal. Yes, sir. You give two copies. One, I mean, we can always have a copy. You can, you can give a copy. We will go through the, this. Uh, we find that there is something lacking in your effort. Um, not yours. Investigating agents. Sir, sir, if I may just uh, elucidate everything that we have done so far, sir. So we took the. Are you satisfied? Sir, with this kind of allegation, with this, with this large spectrum of the, of the, of the, uh, you know, victims, are you satisfied that only one person you could uh, lay your hands upon? We are not. We are not asking you to frame others who are not there. Sir, we are not asking you to do that. Sir. We are even not asking you to expand the scope of investigation, not at all. But if you as an investigator, as the head of the investigating team, eight member team, if you are satisfied that all this happened only because of the facilitator and nobody, and nobody could get uh, any access to the, to the uh, home and could meet the girls, then we are, we, uh, then uh, I don't think we, we are on the same page. Sir, so far what we have done to uh, get to those culprits, sir, if at all something like this had happened. Mm -hmm. So we took the FSL team to examine the entire premise. Why am I am cutting you short? Sir. Now these processes are known. Sir. You will take, uh, you will have FSL report, you will you will ask for, you will uh, take, cust I mean, uh, you will take a person, you will request for custodial remand and whatever. Sir. We know that process. Sir. We are only asking you about your satisfaction that this kind of an occurrence has taken place and this is not a new one sir. and you could not, uh, I mean you don't have a clue who were part of it, I mean just that. Sir, whatever sir, whatever processes we had followed, we did everything sir. In fact sir, our sole basis of everything that has happened so far are the statements of those two victims sir. Now one of these victims sir gets released from aftercare home sir, the, uh, the, the, the victim of FIR uh, 1322, sir. She gets uh, released from the aftercare home on 5 May 2021. And after one and a half years, sir, she alleges these complaints. And uh, the FIR of 1321 does not hint at any sexual exploitation. Okay, sir. And secondly, please don't uh, proceed on those lines. Sir. 
I will advise you, don't proceed with these lies. The very tenor of your explanation says that you are not believing the accusation. If that be so, then the no, charge no, is no, bad. No, no, sir. No, no, sir. Absolutely not, sir. So okay. Therefore, don't don't say that. Sir. If you find the accusation to be correct, sir. what have you done to extend your arms to reach those culprits? Now, if you say that the statement is made after one year, that means you can, you can. Sir. There could be tutored statements. I don't say that it cannot be. Sir. But these are two different strands in the investigation. Sir. Should you find the accusation made by the women to be bad, to be to be not acceptable, that's one stand. If you say this, that there was considerable time lag when the matter was reported and when they, they were subjected to such misdemeanor. Sir, actually, sir, because of that, the statements are vague, sir. And even when, sir, not just that, we tried reaching out to girls of shelter who, who were released from the shelter room at that point in time, sir. And, sir, from time to time, inspections had been carried out at the shelter room. And uh, uh, we have got a report of all those inspection notes also, sir. Yes. 